Okay, we have log two equals a, log three equals b. Write the following in terms of a and b. So log of two over nine. Well, I can rewrite two over nine as log two over three squared. Then I can break down this log into log two minus log three squared. And why is that? Well, because we, if we divide the contents of the log, we can actually just subtract the logs and split it up like that. It's just a basic log rule, right? Then over here, you can just bring the two down. And we have log two minus two log three. I'm going to mention it again. One big common mistake is just to say that this would be equal to b squared, but it's not. We need to bring the two down and say that log three is equal to b. So I can say that we have minus two log b. And log two is just a, so we have a minus two b. Great. Now, log of five. How can you write log of five in terms of a and b? That's a challenge question, by the way. A lot of people would be trying to do maybe log two plus three. That won't help at all. Not even a little bit. What else can we do? How, how else can I break the five down? So far, we only know log two, right? Log two is a log three is B. Another thing that we actually know is that log 10 is equal to one. Right? Why is that? Well, because let's take a look here, all these bases that we don't see here are just 10. We just have log base 10 of two is a log three base 10 is equal to B. And we know that the log of 10 base 10 is just one, right? So you can actually rewrite the log five as log of 10 divided by two. Wow, that's tricky, isn't it? It is. Then I can rewrite that as log 10 minus log two. Log 10 is one and log two is a. We don't have a B here, we just have one minus A, but that's all we can really do. One minus A is equal to log of five, and that's it. 